My next question, which is, I, I know that you know Ilyasa Shabazz, the daughter of Malcolm X, mm -hmm. as do I. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things that she said to me is that, like a lot of people, she was surprised by the sensationalism in this book. That's the word that she used. And I wanted to be clear heading into this interview before I asked you about that statement. So I actually double-checked the exact definition of the word sensationalistic, and it is subject matter, language, or style designed to produce startling impressions or to excite and please vulgar taste. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with her assessment that this book is I think that def definition fits some of the coverage of the book. I think that what has been sensationalized are some of the reports of the book, um, but I don't think that ca correctly characterizes the book. I think what the book does, and what may surprise people, is Malcolm's humanity. You have to remember, Malcolm um, has become an icon, and as an icon, he is, has been put on a pedestal. Um, he has been denied a complex, complicated life story, which he certainly had, and as a result, he's not an accessible, approachable figure. And I think this book makes him approachable, accessible, and in that way, even more inspirational than a kind of on the pedestal icon could be. So if there, if there, is there anything in here that would surprise people, I think it surprises people to see that Malcolm was a human being just like you and me. Well, okay, but with all due respect, and I actually was not going to, to be the specific in this question, um, you know, one of the most controversial parts mm -hmm. of the book, which you knew I was going to ask you about, is on page 66, where it talks about, uh, it describes a physical encounter between two men, and is followed by the words, based on circumstantial but strong evidence, Malcolm was probably describing, probably describing, his own homosexual encounters with Paul Lennon. Now, it goes into more graphic detail than that, mm -hmm. as you know. So, but my question is, can you really say that it's the media being sensationalistic for reporting on that which is in the book, which, quite frankly, the way the scene is described has come across as vulgar to me, and I don't think I'm well, a square. So well, I'm, yeah, I mean, I, well, here's, here's so what I would say. I would say, say well, first thing, um, that is one of a 600-page book, right. and so we should put that in context of what this book is really about. But you would agree um, that's sensationalistic. The, no, right? I think I think that it is it the the reviews that talcum have powder, focused on this. Talcum powder and a sex th this, is, this is something Malcolm describes in his autobiography. But he didn't say it was about he, himself. But he describes many things in his autobiography, and this book covers many aspects of Malcolm's life. And here's the interesting thing to me: okay. um, when Either Malcolm or Dr. Marable talks about Malcolm's drug dealing mm -hmm. or his exploitation of women. Um, why aren't those things considered sensationalistic? And I think I'm not I saying think, they're not though, but, yeah, you but said here's that the, the media thing. coverage is sensationalistic. No, but, but but why isn't the media focused on that? Why haven't it hasn't the discussion focused I think that's on that? Been covered too. And, no, I don't think so. I don't I don't I don't see the reaction to that, that aspect of Malcolm's life, the way people are responding to this. But to get more directly to this point, I think what Professor Marable was doing is trying to, to uh, paint as comprehensive a portrait of Malcolm using as much as the evidence that he could find. And for this particular aspect of Malcolm's life, this was something that Malcolm did during his time as Detroit Red. This is a time when Malcolm is hustling. What is described in this book is a financial arrangement, and I think, you know, Professor Marable puts those things in context. Well, but I have to, I'm going to have to just, just stop you there, because the word that you used is the evidence that he presents. And I looked mm -hmm. at the footnotes, and the allegations are not substantiated. Well, I that think particular scene, I looked at the footnotes, and I've, you know, like you, I've, I've I've written a previous yeah. I've written a previous book, and my editor would not have allowed that to make them book. Now maybe he's more of a tough guy than than the one that Professor right. Marable had, but uh, you know to make a claim like that, I, I think there are a lot of tabloids that wouldn't have allowed that to make it into into press well, with the level of proof that was cited in the right. footnotes. I looked right. at the footnotes, right. so tell me if I missed something.